How's it going everybody? This is Lois back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how do you build this obscure passport field including this eye icon which will help you to toggle the text version of your password and if you click on it again the password will be obscured. This is a Flutter application and I'll show you how you can build this password field. Now the prerequisite for this you need to have a basic understanding of this widget which is text form field okay so if you understand this i'll show you how to use this with it to obscure the password plus use this eye icon without further ado let's get started instead of me typing this whole code i would like to actually walk you through what actually here and what's working so first of all we will be creating this form which is another widget that you get with this material application now within this form we will get to this form field so we got two form fields here one is the email form field and the second one is the password form field we're going to be working on the password side now, first of all here is an api key that you need to use which will upscale your password so if i change this to let's say false and if i type any password now as you can see it is just a simple text so let's make this false value as a variable which is defined above here so is upscale that's the variable now we're going to be reverting this back to using that variable and initial value is actually set here in init state hook so when this component get built it gets this value to true okay now at this stage if i save it you'll see the password is now again obscured it's very simple but how do we get this icon here you can actually use this decoration api from text form field and then use this input decoration which has an api suffix icon which can use this icon button widget and within the button widget you can actually specify this on pressed function so basically what i'm doing here is i'm using this ternary operator i'm seeing if it is true this is absolute variable is true then we're going to be using this visibility icon and if it's false then we're going to be using this visibility false icon so right now it is true because in our in its state we set as true now this input uh this icon button also provides this on pressed function and you can actually call this set state which is again uh, a function to change your state all i'm doing is just taking the value from this and just inverting it and then setting that to is obscured and that's what it does so if i click on it it makes this false which makes this to true and then it basically you know becomes a simple text field that's pretty much it you need to build this password field with this i icon i want to ask you one question usually in my tutorial i usually write code while i'm recording uh, the tutorial which is time consuming and can take a very long time so what i want to do is i want to actually deliver the knowledge as soon as possible this is why i'm actually going to take a different approach in most of my videos where i'll have the code written already and i'll just use this beautiful markup tool to actually focus on the code that i'm talking about okay that will save a lot of time and at the end of the video what i'll do is i will provide you guys with a guest which is going to be public guest that will have the the code snippet that i'm talking about in my tutorial videos which will basically save time and then gives you everything what you need to build you know in in very less time so make sure to give uh, a like to my github uh guest also follow me on github i need some more followers uh please do so and i'll really appreciate that if you if you do it thank you for watching and i speak to you guys in the next one cheers